Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Super Fluid from Shorts Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we are trying Super Fluid by Shorts. 9.1% uh, ABV, 100 IBUs. Um, Imperial Double IPA is what it's saying on Untapped. We'll see. Um, is there, was there anything on the bottle? Boom. Um, clean water makes better beer. Can't 12 28 17. Okay, so about a month old. Um, I know I just found it the other day. Yeah, I don't even see uh ABV or anything on the bottle, huh? It's a picture of Michigan on there. Yeah, <laughs> are you not gonna like this? I don't know, <laughs> it You're doesn't quiet. I think it doesn't really matter. I'm waiting for you to stop just looking all over the bottle. You need to prepare better for your videos. Well, I was watching TV. I know. And she came Look at the whole side of his yeah. face is already going to take a nap. Uh, white head, small bubbles, about a half a finger of head. Um, and I yellow color. I can see through it. It looks like it, there are particles in mine. Yours is hazier, yeah. thicker than mine, and you have bubbles. more head than I do. Bubbles coming up. Okay, a smell. Malt, citrus, some pine. Like I would say the malt and the citrus are about even, then a little bit of pine underneath it. More pine than I like. <laughs> okay, That doesn't take much. Taste. Way too malty. For me. Way too piney. Piney. Like malt, citrus in front, going back into pine with like a kind of a bitter alcohol aftertaste. Ah. <laughs> For me, I, this is probably going to be a quick review. <laughs> Under three minutes? Yeah. I think we can do it. <laughs> I would have to go with a two out of five. For me, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of double IPA fans that do like this. I think Rob would probably like it. Rob but, likes pine heavy. Yeah, but for me, I don't like that big malt bomb pine taste. Yeah. So I would go with a two for the beer. I would probably go three point seven five. Like I think it's balance. The the pine and the malt do kind of balance. You watch me stop petting oh. yourself. The 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 pine and the malt do balance each other. Uh, so I would go with the three point seven five for a double IPA. I think it lacks because. Of the alcohol is still brought out. What? I don't like it. It's just... <laughs> I've... Well, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers. You should be pretty soon. If you're right. <laughs> uh, I, no, I think it's way too too much pine. Yeah. Way too much for, for my liking. I actually... I had been seeing that everyone likes it. And it's so good. And it just... it's. It's my opinion. I like, apparently, the citrusy New England style yeah. IPAs. They're hazy and heavy and citrus, citrus, citrus. Well, even to that point, that. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that might comment and hate me for saying this, but Bell's Hop Slam is way better than this beer. Bell's Hop Slam. I would actually probably agree with that, and I didn't like that double either. Double IPA, and this is a double IPA. And this... Ruthie! She's talking again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, you know, I would agree with that, and I didn't even care for this year's Hop yeah. Slam, or last year's, or probably ever's. But, um... <laughs> yeah, this, this is... is eh. 
It's just, it's too much. Yeah. Way too much. If you, like. if you like hops. <laughs> You've got to stop petting oh, yourself. If you like big malt and pine, definitely pick this up. If you don't like that in your double IPAs, yeah. don't Don't look waste for citrus in it for sure. Yeah. I do get some citrus in there. I do get in, a, in the, the smell, but not in the taste. Yeah. And it's, um, this one's going to sit. Just like I this. have 25 friends that have rated the, or out of my friends, 25 have rated this okay. for a 4.07. Wow. Um, almost 9,000 people have rated this 3.92. So, Some people like the pine heavy, yeah, and I, that's okay. We don't hate them for it. Right, and if you go back and watch any of my double IPA reviews, I've always said it. I'm not a huge malt pine fan of double IPAs. And I'm not a fan of them at all. Yeah, obviously. Across the board. <laughs> but I had to get it because... Yeah, we had to try it. We had to try it. But again, like I said, 3.75 probably if you are a big double IPA fan. Yeah, if you like pine, this is like a 4 out of 5 beer. But I don't... So I don't feel... I don't feel, I feel it's fair for me to be like, this is nasty. It's a 2. Yeah. Because it's well, not nasty. But again, these are rated off our... Yeah. I would so say it was a three out of five. Beer. It's just, it wasn't so awful. It just was way too pine heavy for me. Yeah. It wasn't rotten. Yeah. You know, it wasn't sour. It wasn't like bad. Right. right. So. Oh. Cool. Next time. Till next time. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. <laughs>